Okay, so just as a quick preface, I'll explain that. This is basically, I know we're looking at all the things that someone will let's do, take it to a higher level of information, literacy skills. Yeah, I'm basically not doing that. This is the blunt, it's the blunt five minute introduction. The first thing I'm going to do when I get my new students this September, any feedback is more than welcome. So, in character. Good afternoon everyone, my name is David Jenkins and I am the subject librarian for secondary education here at Didsbury Library and today we're going to be looking at getting full text articles that you need within five minutes. Now I hear you ask, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to be using library search and the next logical question what is library search? Um, has anyone had a chance to use library search? Do they know what library search is? Oh, well, for the uninitiated. <laughs> library search is basically a new service we're introducing this term. It lets you get access to all the different kinds of materials that the library has. So we're talking e-books, e-journals, print books, print journals, newspapers, the whole caboodle. And today we're going to be focusing on getting full text articles online. So, the next thing we need to know, where is this wonderful library search? Well, I'll show you. It's on the MMU library website. So if we just hop across, and let's expand that a little bit. Okay, so if you start from the MMU homepage and scroll down, you see in the second column we've got there a link to library. Simply click on that and you'll come to the library homepage. At this point, I'm going to do a brief aside, but you can not time this, because we actually don't have the sum and search box on our homepage yet. So, you know, just use your imagination. <laughs> I navigate to where it actually is and we'll get back with you in a second. Okay, we've got the beta version somewhere. Oh, and we are in. And there it is, library search. So, what do we need to look at next? How to use library search? Well, um, have any of you ever used Google? Excellent. In which case, you can use library search. All you have to do to get started is enter a few keywords and hit search. Now, in the next session we do later on in your course, we'll start looking in a bit more depth of how to choose the exact keywords you need. But for now, we'll just get you going with a quick example. So, let's have a look. Um, let's go for e-learning assessment, a topic that I know is close to all of your hearts. Hit your keywords, hit the search button, and in good time, we'll get this list of results. So you see we've got things on screen that relate to the keywords we put in. If you want to know a little bit more about them, you can, for example, hover over the title. You can see this one has an abstract, the brief description of what the article is about. So we know how to get some results up. But the next thing is, how do we actually see the full text? Well, that's simple too. All you have to do is click on the title of the item to see the full text. I will caveat this and say that we don't have the full text for everything. You can easily tell, you see these little yellow sunburns, that means the MMU has the full text online. So click on the title, and here we go. You can take into the MMU login page, the typical e-resource login page you're all familiar with, you can enter your network username and password. You only need to do this for the first time. And it will take you right through to the page where you can access full text. So, the next thing, let's have a look. Once people have found the full text, the question they typically ask is, how do I make my search better? How do I find things that are more relevant to me? There's a few quick ways that you can do this. Basically, we need to look at refining our search. So, again, when people use Google, when they're searching for their holidays at home, they'll think nothing of, you know, if they don't see the results they want on the first page, just go in and change the keywords. So, we could add another word, for example, if we want to focus 
on e-learning assessment in the classroom, add your keyword, hit search, and it'll start bringing you up a new set of results. Okay, um, there are some other options on the left-hand side which you can use to refine. They're basically very self-explanatory. If you want to limit to items with full text online, tick that box. If you want to limit to books, e-books, tick that box. If you want to limit to things that have you know, the subject term or the word education linked to them, just tick that box and it's that simple. So, my five minutes is up. Got a quick recap. We've seen what library search is, we've seen where it is, we know that it's on the MMU library webpage, we've seen how to use it. Keywords, hit the search button, and that gets you up and running. We've seen how you get through to the full text by clicking on the title, and we very quickly looked at how to refine your search. In the later sessions we have in turn, when you actually get your assignment, we can look at that a little bit further. But, in the meanwhile, if you need any help, Got my contact details on screen, give me an email, drop me a call, I'll simply pop in the library in person. Thank you.